Hi everyone, Kari here, and today is day 11 of the Abundance Challenge. Now, this video is gonna be a little bit different today. I'm still gonna be going over what my impressions were for day 10's affirmation, but then after I'm going to um, tell you a couple of emails that I got from people throughout the 10 days that we've actually done so far. So really quickly, I wanna go over day 10's affirmation. And it was, I keep my mind and thoughts off this world and I place my entire focus on God within as the only cause of my prosperity. I acknowledge the inner presence as the only activity in my financial affairs as the substance of all things visible. I place my faith in the principle of, of, of abundance in action within me. So breaking this affirmation in sections. The first section, I keep my mind and thoughts off this world and I place my entire focus on God within as my only cause of my prosperity. It means that you're focusing on God and yourself as your prosperity, as the means of getting your abundance. That you're not focusing on all the stuff in the world, for example, your job or um, your friends or family in receiving your abundance. That you're not relying on anyone other than God and your God self to get this abundance. So again, they're just kind of recapping and re-going over some of the affirmations that we've already talked about. They're really just trying to like nail that into your head so that you really realize that the focus is on your God self and God and that's where you're gonna be provided your abundance. So moving on, it says, I acknowledge the inner presence as the only activity in my financial affairs. Well, that's saying, once you acknowledge that God and your God self is the one who's making you abundant, that's when you will start becoming abundant. And then, um, I place my faith in the principle of abundance and action within me. And it talks about the action of what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing. That's bringing you the abundance. That's the principle of abundance. So being aware really thinking and feeling that that your God self and God the one who is in control of this energy of abundance is going to make you more abundant in everything so that is my take on day 10's abundance challenge affirmation so um, for day 11 you're gonna rewrite day one's affirmation so look back into your book um, for day one and rewrite that affirmation and again you know do a 15 minute meditation and continue to write down any thoughts and impressions that you have um, I'm not going to reread all of the affirmations unless you guys want me to so if you want me to reread from 1 to 10 then tell me by comment or by a message from face for Facebook um, but I'm not going to reread them and redo it because that just gives me more work, right? So from what I'm from now, I'm actually going to read a couple of emails that I got from people. Just opening them up. I planned on reading four. They're not very long, and these people allowed me to give their first name and the state that they live in. Okay, so this is the first one. All right, so I have an email from Judy from Mississippi, and she writes, Today God gave me the abundance I need for my mediumship class. I will enroll soon, and I am very excited. I know that when I place my faith in God, He will take care of all my needs. That's great. Um, the same thing actually Judy had happened to me with I'm going to be going to or I wanted to go to a lecture by Doreen Virtue here in Japan and it's the equivalent to six hundred and thirty dollars and it's next month and I was like well how am I gonna get six hundred and thirty dollars um, and I was just like I didn't know what I was gonna do so I was doing the abundance challenge and then boom all of a sudden I have that money and then some to take this um, this workshop that she's going to be doing next month in July so things will just all of a sudden happen they'll start appearing once you start opening um, 
the doors to receive in this abundant energy, the energy will start flowing. It will start coming to you. So I'm glad that somebody else is having some success with that too. And I hope you enjoy your mediumship class. All right. So the next email I wanted to read was this one. So Sarah from um, Miami. And she just wrote, I will practice being more aware of my fulfillment. Um, that's really good. Practice makes perfect. So, you know, even if you have extra time in your day, other than the 15 minutes that you're supposed to use for the meditation, practice on remembering or even just looking at the affirmation. For example, you know, what I did is I put them on paper with, you know, a pretty picture and the affirmation there. And you can probably see like the tape up at the top. I tape them to my wall and every day on that day I see the affirmation so I'm constantly reminded of this affirmation so that's a, a good suggestion for anybody who wants to do this more than just the 15 minutes in the day um, just print it out it doesn't have to be anything fancy even write it out and stick it on your desk at work just so you have that constant reminder that you know to remember to think this affirmation and to know it to be true. So Sarah, keep up the work. Okay, the next email is from a little later in the week. Okay, so Terry from Maine. Terry says, today during my meditation, I had visions of countless supply, I'm sorry, a countless supply of gold coins and money showering down on me. I felt wonderful. The next day at work, my boss finally met with me to talk about my raise. I have been asking for a year for this raise. I have been asking for, yeah, I have been asking for a year for this raise. Can, number one, Terry, congratulations on your raise. And again, it's just showing that some of this is, you know, this is working, that you're opening up these doors, you're unblocking those hurdles in front of you, and you're starting to be more abundant. So, you know, keep up the good work and keep sending me those, those messages. But congratulations on your, your raise. You deserve it. As well as everybody else deserves it. So, just go for it. And then I wanted to read one more email that I really liked. And I had some advice for. Alright, so Martha from Tennessee. And she writes... I still feel that I am blocking my abundance. I know I need to let God handle it, but I have such a hard time releasing the control I have on what I do in my life every day. What can I do? I feel I get through one affirmation only to reject it the next day. All right, so Martha, and for everyone else there who has this type of frustration and this block or, or feeling that you're releasing control by asking God to take over. Um, First and foremost, you're not releasing any control of your life over to God or to the angels or to anybody else that you ask assistance for up in the spirit world or up in heaven. Um, you will always keep and maintain your own control at your own comfortable level. But when you're asking for God's help, he's there to help you. Not to take over the steering wheel and say, all right, we're doing it my way. He'll still conform to your way, but he'll help you. And he'll give you signs to help you down to, to the right path that you're trying to get to. So you might be led into one direction that you might not think is the right direction, but turns out it is the right direction. That's just your common sense and your sixth sense telling you which way to go. It's not anybody grabbing the steering wheel from you and saying, we're going this way. It's my way or the highway, basically. You'll still have that control. You still maintain your own life and your own style. And, you know, don't feel that you're ever giving up your control by asking the angels or asking for God's help with anything. Um, and the angels and God respect, you know, your decisions and they respect your free will. So don't feel that you're going to be giving up anything. Um, in terms of um, things that you can do, in fact, the angels are communicating me, with me right now um, for, for you, Martha, and for anybody else out there. One of the things that you can do to try and help you with the abundance is they're telling me about vision boards or money boards. 
and I'm sure if you look right up here, that's my vision board. It's, you know, right in plain sight every day. And the angels are telling me anybody that has those blocks that they feel that they're rejecting the affirmations. Write down what you desire. Write down your hopes, your wishes, what you want down on your vision board and you know see it every day and know that it's going to happen and for me I actually have what does it say on my thing it says I'll try and read it this way it says wish an abundance board and then I have a little affirmation for myself and it says God will provide me with everything on this board in perfect and divine timing and then I have it numbered and I have different things that I want and desire. And anything that costs money, I have, um, for example, the Doreen Virtue Lecture. I put down Doreen Virtue's workshop, and then I put $630 next to it. So I'm being very open with what I want, and I'm being very specific for what I want. So if you want something that costs 50 bucks, write down what it is and say 50 bucks. And you know, it'll come. If you open up these doors, that abundance will come and it'll come exactly the way that you, you need it to come. Not that maybe what you want it to come, but the way that it's needed to come. So the angels are saying, definitely try and do a vision board or a money board or a wish board, you know, call it whatever you want. Um, the other thing that the angels are saying is past life regressions um, about karma, karmic impressions that sometimes we're suffering money problems in this life because we suffered from money problems in a previous life. So doing some past life regression, Martha, would really kind of open up that karmic release um, of the, the blocks that might be within you. Your blocks, I'm getting from the angels, are at a high, I'm um, not higher, at a deeper level than just this life right now. So try and look into some karma release and meditations or past life regression meditations. Get to the root of the problem and clear out that energy. And if you can't find any good guided meditations, even just sitting down, putting on some nice music, if you work with the angels, um, work with Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael, and they can help you to go into your, um, the book of life or the, the records that we all have. Um, and going through that point in your life and just saying, you know, I cut the cords of any negative energy or any karma that's you know bad karma that is not letting me receive my abundance in this life so cut all those cords balance out all that karma and you might notice a change you should notice a change and if you start to notice a change email me back because myself and I'm sure everybody else who's watching this video is going to be interested to see what happens if you do um, take this advice and write a vision board and look into some past life regression as well as some karma releasing and karma balancing. I'm sure everybody will want to find out exactly how, how it happens and what, you know, what happens and how it works. Um, but anyways, good luck to you, Martha, and you can send me messages or write messages anytime you want. That goes for everybody out there who's watching these videos. Um, so those are the emails that I'm going to read so far today. Um, so from now, everybody, just try and enjoy the rest of your day or the start of your day. And remember to do the affirmation number one for day 11. And just write that down in, in your um, affirmation book, your journal. So I will see you all tomorrow for day 12 with some more emails. And, you know, I send you lots of love, light, and abundant energy. Have a nice day, everyone. Namaste.